Now we have two big punchers colliding. We have te from Texas, Jorge Castañeda and Mexico City, Eduardo Hernandez. They clash over 10 rounds in the super featherweight division. Introducing your three judges scoring this contest from ringside, all de Mexico. Erica Contreras, Cristian Gardino, and Rafael Ortiz. And at the sound of the bell, your third man in the ring, also from Mexico, referee Cesar Castañon. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 10 rounds of boxing scheduled for the WBC International Silver Super Featherweight Championship. The Saltos for a Titulo Internacional Super Pluma Plata del CMAP. Introducing first the challenger. He fights out of the blue corner and wears the red with black trim. He scaled 129.9 pounds. His professional record, 31 victories, only one defeat. He has 28 big wins coming by way of knockout. Presentando el hijo de Tlanapantla, Estado de México. Here is the former WBC Youth World Super Federal Champion, Eduardo Rocky Hernandez. Hernandez. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner. He is the defending titleist. He wears the white trunks with the Mexican and American flags. He also scaled the rented 129.9 pounds. His professional record, 15 wins, one defeat. He has 11 wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Laredo, Texas, here is the reigning and defending WBC International Silver Super Featherweight Champion, Jorge Castaneda. Muy bien, caballeros, los dos conocen bien las reglas del Consejo Mundial de Boxeo. Están prohibidos los cabezazos, golpes debajo del cinturón, golpes en la espalda y sobre todo los golpes en la nuca. Se protegen los dos todo el tiempo y cuando yo indique fuera se separan sin tirar golpes. ¿Quedó claro? Suerte a los dos y que caen mejor. Choque guantes. Two big time punchers here in the 130 pound division. Both think that they are on the cusp of a title contention. Jorge Castaneda the upset specialist, the A-side here tonight. Eduardo Rocky Hernandez, he's experienced an upset on his rise. Now trying to affirm that everything is back on track. And as we begin round one, scheduled 4-10 in the crowd here in Guadalajara, firmly behind Rocky Hernandez, who is firing away here in the early going. Yeah, he, he just landed a good left hook as well. Starting of aggressive right off the rip. Another left hook. This is the hallmark of the Rocky Martinez, excuse me, Rocky Hernandez offense. A lot of uppercuts, a lot of left hooks. That left hook found a home already. It's about three times that Rocky land that hook clean, clean on the chin for Castaneda. Another left hook. Yeah. Can't miss. For Castaneda there, but Rocky Hernandez firing right away, back with the right hand. You know, Castaneda, I think he, what he needs to do, he needs to box. He needs to use his distance to start applying a jab. He's Big left hook. Mm. That rattled Castaneda. Yeah, oh. And Castaneda no. goes down. He's a solid puncher, man. He's showing that power early. Hernandez is on the prowl. He lands that big overhand right again. An eternity for Castaneda to survive. Wow. He is on the it's run, over. and he is out. It's over. Rocky Hernandez, welcome back. A first-round knockout. That's what you call a power puncher. <laughs> Well, Hernandez just could not miss from the opening bell onwards, Gabe. Yep. And, and you can tell, man, he's, he's a he's a, he's a one-hitter-quitter kind of guy. You know, those shots were landing flush, and 
Castaneda just couldn't couldn't do anything about it. And not only is he a big puncher, but he is about as blatantly aggressive as you're going to see a fighter on the higher levels in boxing. Yeah. And you know, he's aggressive and he's smart. You know, he started the fight with an up jab, overhand right, left hook, good distance. Very aggressive, but but he was really smart on his approach of uh, how he pressed Castaneda. A nice sign of respect there from Rocky to Jorge Castaneda. Sees his upset streak come to an end here tonight, much to the delight of the Guadalajara crowd. As Hernandez celebrates with one of his trainers, Brandon Capetillo. Wife, Carla Hernandez. Yeah, that was a that was a statement win by Rocky. You know, he made a great statement in uh, in a packed division. He said he wants the rematch with Roger Gutierrez. That's certainly one way to call for it. And I think we are ready to make this one official. Send it up to David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Cesar Castagnon calls a halt in this contest. The official time of the stoppage, one minute and 35 seconds of round number one. Your winner by knockout and the new WBC International Silver Super Featherweight Champion, Eduardo So an emotional moment for Eduardo Hernandez as he celebrates with his daughter, Grecia, in his arms. You saw his wife, Carla Hernandez, ringside. What a moment for Rocky Hernandez. An explosive performance as we take a look back at how Rocky ended this one. You see the uppercuts. He might throw more uppercuts than anyone at this level of boxing, and then he finishes it off with a straight left hand. A devastating left hook. Rattling Castaneda. Castaneda was just never able to get out of the blocks. It was uppercuts, it was left hooks like that one, and it was the overhand right that might have started everything. And that overhand right, they call out for it from his corner, that one right there. They call that La Torta. And that's not because they're asking for a sandwich, it's an ode to Rocky's mentor, the former minimum weight title holder, Isaac Bustos, who's also probably the origin for Rocky's fondness for those long uppercuts and hooks. A style very similar to his mentor, and a style that certainly viewers are going to want to see more of. An explosive performance from Eduardo Rocky Hernandez, who is now 32 and one with 29 big knockouts.